so hey guys welcome back again in muo sigma classes so in this lecture we are going to discuss on logout functionality in our react native application so as you can see here we have this home screen but there is nothing called logout button so we are going to make a logout button here in this middle of a screen so um, here we have this home page all right so this is what text we have all right so we are going to make the touchable you know we are going to make the button so i'm going to use touchable opacity so if uh, touchable opacity is not imported here just uh, touchable opacity just import this like this back here and just write like this all right all right let me just give some of styling so here i'm i am you know doing the inline styling over here so let me just go let me just put some padding here let's say 10 border radius something like uh, let's say 10 and here we have the text is something called logout logout all right okay so let me just put some justify content center all right just comma and allying items is in the center all right go back here and then you can see this text but this is not button right so I need to just fill some of the color so let's say background color background color let's say pink all right so now you can see this is the button you can see okay so now you can see this is the button right so this is this is you know so uh, let me just make on press function here okay let me make this arrow function and make it alert for checking purpose let's say this and just if you click this like this is the alert you are so now you can see here we are getting the alert right all right so i want to make a function this dot log out and the function name will be log out and i want to call this function here all right so this is what we have the arrow function all right okay okay and then log out and i want to remove that key value so let me just close this verify the home page everything here and this navigation this okay so this is the router file right so in this component did mount in the previous video we have set is login value in the verify dot js value file like this you can see here right so if you are going to log in then we'll set the value is true in this key right and if we are going to log out from the application we need to remove and we need to empty that key all right so okay so um, we have the async storage okay async storage dot so we have something called async storage clear okay so just uh, check here uh, with the async storage no. okay so let me just import for my async storage from all oh, right so this is the sync all right so we let me just import like this and this is the sync storage i'm using here right all right so we just need to clear you just need to use the clear function like this clear like this all right all right guys so uh, if i'll click here like this then you can see if i will refresh the app then you will be able to see this 
value is null we are getting here right and you will get all right guys so uh, now you can see we are getting blank screen all right so in the previous video we have said something called router in the router.js file file this is what we have set because of this only we are getting the null if we'll remove this then you know we will get your login screen so uh, okay guys so let me just do one thing here okay so this is the is login right so we just need to use this uh, is ready wali key and let me just check is ready is uh, by default it's false and if you are here then is ready will be true or 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 let me just cut here from here and then from outside we can use this dot set state and we can set here like this all right all right guys so first we are going to check uh, okay so we are getting the null all right so let me just put plus 91 33445566677 and let me send the code once again All right, so now you can see this is the verify screen, and if you push my verification code, one two three four five six, send code. This is the home screen. If I refresh this page, and then directly you can see my home screen, right? Okay, all right. So you're not getting any of login screen because of this key. We are we are we are we are every time we are you know setting this state is true, but after this only, right? So so this is the reason why we are not getting the login screen you know this screen not fluctuating right on the behalf of is ready state you can do like this so that you will not get your login screen in meanwhile um, when you are redirecting to the home screen directly okay so if i'll press like this log out and then if i'll refresh this page like this then you can see we are getting the login screen but now you are thinking that if i'll uh, that if I will press on the logout button, I just need to redirect into the login screen directly. Every time you don't need to refresh the app, kill the app, then you will get something like this. Okay, so uh, what we can do here in this uh, home page when you are going to click on this logout button and you will call this logout function, then you are clearing your async is sorry, this is cool, but you also need to navigate into your login page right so this dot props dot navigation dot navigate navigate and then here we have this login page just check from uh, here index this rc this is the login root root container and here we have this and this is the login root and here we have this login page just copy this and here we have home page uh, space like this home page let me just check once again uh, so country code is 91 33456677 send code <clears throat> all right all right here i have uh, here i am in the verify screen 123456 send code verify code and I am in my home page if I'll refresh the app then I'm here in this home page okay if I will press on the logout button then you can see I am in my login page if I will refresh the app once again then you will be able to see only the login page all right guys so this is what we wanted to implement and this is you know this is now implemented so i think you will love this video if you like this video please like this video share this video and comment down ki aapko kaun sa part best laga please do like share and subscribe this channel thank you so much once again